Let's discuss what's going on. Masha Gessen is joining us. She's a, a Russian-American journalist. She's also author of the book, The Ban Without a Face, The Rise and Rule of Vladimir Putin. Masha, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, it, it was Mitt Romney right uh, in 2012 when he said Russia, and I think he was referring specifically to the, the leadership of Putin, that Russia was America's number one geopolitical foe? I don't know if he was right about that, but I certainly think that uh, President Obama has probably gone too easy on Putin. And part of what we're seeing now is uh, not just the United States, but the West's failure to respond to Putin's systematic violations of international law, which didn't begin last week. So what, 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 what should the U.S., from your perspective, do that would have credibility with Putin? Well, at this point, it's very difficult to give any kind of advice because at this point, it seems to me that there's nothing that can work strategically. Economic sanctions will uh, actually necessitate greater mobilization in Russia and will aid the war effort. Uh, a military response, even if it were on the table, which I don't believe it is, um, would again uh, result in greater mobilization, but anything less would embolden him further, would just be a continuation of the West ignoring um, what he's doing. So at this point, there's no way to think tr strategically. We just have to think about what the right thing to do is. So you've studied a lot about, uh, you've done a lot of work on Putin. Who is he? What's he all about? Where is he from? Where is he going? We heard the Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, on CNN's New Day yesterday say, maybe he's delusional right now. Do you believe this guy is delusional? I believe he is very isolated. I believe that he is in a classic dictator's trap, that uh, he is getting very little information. He basically watches his own TV and has been watching it and believing it for 15 years. Uh, so I don't know if I would call it a delusion, but he certainly has a very different view of the world than you and I do. Because he, he does have these lengthy phone conversations, 90 minutes over the weekend with the president of the United States. They went back and forth. Angela Merkel heard about that call. She said maybe he's living in another world. Others who know him well, who have worked with him, say he's by no means de delusional. He's very intelligent. He's got his mission. He's a Russian patriot, a nationalist. He's doing what he believes is best for Russia. I don't see a contradiction there. I mean, he can be delusional and a Russian patriot and a rational actor in his own framework at the same time. And I think, you know, I think that is all true. I think that at his press conference yesterday, actually he did something that, you know, that surprised a lot of people, but I didn't find it particularly surprising. He acted the way he always does, like a bully in a playground, like a thug. He kept saying, you know, that that's not me. I didn't take that. That, um, that was that other guy. And, um, and it, it, it wasn't bizarre. It only seems bizarre if you expect him to, 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 to act on the basis of, of val values that are shared in this country. Uh, yes, he does believe that he has a right to go into the Crimea. Uh, he does believe uh, that he is doing what, what, the, what the people want, both in Crimea and in Russia. And he believes it's, historical, it's his historic mission to reunite the Soviet Union. Masha Gessen, uh, the author of Man Without a Face, The Unlikely Rise of Vladimir Putin. Uh, Masha, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. My uh, next guest had an up-close.